Hi guys, it's Coach Anthony back at you with another edition of Animate Bringing Chess to Life. So, we have met the team and if you've not done so already, check out those videos which will help you follow this lesson more easily. Link below in the description box. Today, we are going to look at the main idea behind the game of chess and that is Checkmate. What is checkmate, I hear you ask? The clue is in the word check and the mate. Firstly, let's look at check. Check simply means your king is being attacked. Let's look at a few examples. On this board, we have the king sitting on the square e2 and we have the black team trying to find ways of attacking this king. First up is the rook. Remembering that rooks move up and down files and across the rank, we can see that if we travel along the h file to the square h2, this would be attacking the king, placing it in check. The rooks are pretty sneaky. They've got more than one way of doing it. So you may have noticed the rook can travel across the rank to the square e8 and from that square it would also be attacking the king putting the king in check well we have a bishop as well and this bishop can move down the diagonal get to the square g4 and place the king in check and those of you with a keen eye may have already noticed that the bishop can also go to the square a6 and from that square it would also place the king in check. Excellent. Okay guys, on to the next position. I would like you to pause your video and try to work out how many different ways the black team can put the white king in check. Hopefully you've done this so let's check out the answer first of all we're going to start with the knight that tricky member of the team did you find the l shape knight to e4 which attacks the king placing the king in check and knowing that the knight is really sneaky there's more than one way for the knight to do this job the other one is knight to b5 and from b5 it will also place the king in check. Good job. Moving on to Her Majesty, very powerful piece, very sneaky piece as well. The queen is a rook plus a bishop. So the queen moving like a rook can go across the rank to the square c8 where it would place the king in check the queen could also go across the rank to the square h8 from h8 it would also place the king in check mm. the queen can move down the file and go to the square f6 and from the square f6 it would place the king in check. It could also go to the square f3. And from that square, it would also place the king in check. But the queen is not just a rook, it's also a bishop. So this means the queen can move along the diagonal to the square g7 and from g7, it would also place the king in check. So let's mark out all those squares. So first of all, we had the knight who was able to travel to these two squares. And then we had the queen that could travel to all of the following squares. and one more f6 so hopefully 
you found the answer, seven. Okay, on to another position. I'd like you to pause the video once again and try and work out how many different ways the black team can place the white king in check. I'm back. Let's look at the rook. The rook can go across the rank to the square f8 where it will place the king in check. Unfortunately, because rooks can't jump over any piece, it cannot jump over the pawn, land on the square e5 from which it would attack the king. So that rook has only got one way of doing it. On to the bishop. What square could the bishop go to? Well, it could go to the square. It's a trick. The bishop only lives on one color square for the entire game. So that means this bishop, which is on dark color squares, can only ever attack dark color squares. And as we see, the king is laughing because it's on a light color square. So that means the bishop will never ever be able to place it in check. On to the little guy. Never ever ever forget about the little guy. This little guy can hop forward one square and from that square it could then place the king in check. So we have a total of one, two different ways the king can be placed in check. Excellent work. When the king is in danger or being attacked, we call this check. The team whose king is in check has three options of getting it out of check. Firstly, the king can quite simply run away. If we have other helpers, we can block the attack or if we're able to capture the piece that is attacking our king. So those three options, capture, block or run away. Let's demonstrate this. We have the black team, we've got the king sliding across the rank to e8 from which it can place the king in check. Check. Well, let's look at those options we spoke about. One of them was to run away. So the king could run to any of these squares and if it runs to any of those squares, it's going to get itself out of danger. The king, however, cannot run to the square e2 because the king would still be on the e-file and the rook is on the e-file, which means it's still being attacked. The king would still be in check. Another option we have for those who have spotted it, awesome work, we could use the knight landed on a square e2 and block the check so if the knight lands on the square e2 the rook can no longer directly attack our king therefore we have escaped the attack we have escaped the check and some of you who are really eagle-eyed have already noticed the other option which is Quite simply, we could capture the rook. So the bishop sneakily sitting on a4 has eyes on the rook and we can just capture the rook and we are out of check. Very, very, very important to remember that when your king is placed in check, you must get it out of check. And if for any reason you cannot get it out of check, meaning you cannot capture, you cannot block, you cannot run away, that is called checkmate. 
In this final position, we have the black queen placing the white king in check. I'd like you to pause your video once again and work out the different ways that the king can get out of check. Hopefully you've done that. So let's check the answer. Well, one of the first things we know is the king can always just run away. The king can run to any of these squares. And as we see, if it runs to the square G2, it's no longer on the H file. So the queen cannot attack it anymore and we've escaped. We cannot run to the square H3 or the square H1 simply because we're still on the H file and the queen can get us. That means we haven't got out of check. Another option that we have is to use our horsey and quite simply move backwards and block. So once the horsey hops to the square H3, blocking the queen's view of the king, once again, we're out of check. But saving the best for last, capturing is always a nicer way to get out of check, especially when you can capture for free. So the bishop here spots a juicy lunch and can swoop down to the square h8 and gobble up the queen, which is a wonderful way of getting out of check. Okay, guys, phew, that was a lot of information. Be sure to check out the Checkmate Part 2 video. To summarize, when a king is being attacked, it is called check. The team in check has three options, capture, block or run away. If a king is in check, you must get it out of check. You can't play any other move that does not do one of the three options. If you find you can't block, you can't capture, you can't run away, then it is checkmate. Awesome. Please like and subscribe so that you can get more helpful videos on your journey. See you guys on the next video.